no injuries to report. Nothing, nobody left the game and, and didn't return, so there's nothing to report there. Uh, is, this, is how you, this is how you get beat by a really good football team at their place. You turn the ball over four times, you don't take it away once. You give up an unbelievable amount of return yardage in the return game, both in kickoff and punt. Put our defense in short fields, they scored, and they scored five touchdowns in all five possessions that they were down in there. We allowed too many explosive plays, and we had too many penalties in the first half for sure. Um, the positives of it are they only had one touchdown when they started in their own territory, um, but they started way too often in ours. Our defense played well enough, uh, but again, the short fields didn't come up with any stops and, and found ways to, to let them score touchdowns. Uh, you know, other than the turnovers, I thought our offense moved the ball, especially in the first half against a good defense. Uh, we put this 14-14 game at one point and thought we had a good rhythm going, um, and we had a chance to, to keep the game tight, and we were playing good football. And then uh, that's how the game gets away from you against a good football team. You give up a punt return for a touchdown. You give up a long kickoff. You give the defense another short field. And then you ultimately turn the ball over four times. And at some point, uh, we're going to stop doing that, and we'll be able to play a competitive football game. But until then, um, that's what they look like when you turn it over like that and don't get any turnovers in return. So um, it's just not, not good enough anywhere. And again, you play a good team on the road uh, that's, that's built to capitalize on mistakes and make you pay for them, and they did. And that's where we're at. Look, I'm not really in the business of, of, of trying to provide all that right now. We're just trying to play better football, um, and that's my focus, uh, putting, putting guys out there that, you know, we fight. Our team plays hard, uh, but we got to do a lot of things a lot better. And right now, um, it's not a, a product that people are excited to watch, and that's the way it is. Um, we got to do something about that. Yeah, I'm not going to get into all that. That's, you know, obviously we haven't played well enough on special teams, but that's that's a little bit too much for after a game. Um, wow. But look, I think Colts I think Colts a good football coach. We haven't played well enough. Uh, we haven't coached well enough, so there's really nothing else to say about that. Uh, I mean, I I'm, I'm seeing a, I see a lot of um, you know, we we don't get down and cover. Uh, we missed tackles today. You know, we're devoting resources to protect because that wasn't good enough early. We protected and settled down, but then we haven't covered very well. Um, there's there's blame around to go around in all of it, both schematically and in, and in performance. Um, and we'll take a look at that when we get back on the film. But right now, none, none of it's good enough anywhere. I'll, I'll, I'll deal with that on my own uh, when we get back to the building, if that's something that we have to do. But at this point, I'm not in that mode. You said the defense played well enough to win. There were at least two play-action plays where their touchdown catcher or safety just took you alone. Yeah. How was that well enough? Well, I'm not saying that it was – <laughs> I'm not saying it was good enough, trust me. Um, I'm just saying they got put in some really tough spots, and when they weren't in those tough spots, they did some good things. They put us in position early in the game for it to be a ball game. Um, obviously, we had some lapses in coverage and assignments at those spots uh, in the red zone. Again, when you go five for five in the red zone, that, that means we're not playing uh, the brand of football that's going to win, win a game for us. So um, at the end of the day, that's we got to be better there too. Mm-hmm. No, all the situations are, are independent, but they, you know, they played, they had their base defense in there versus our, our sub personnel. So um, I didn't want to get into a spot where we had to sub people in uh, and get heavy and sub people. Um, there's only so much time left in getting all those things off uh, with enough shots at the end zone. So uh, that's ultimately what happened. I, I, there, you could have potentially run the ball there at some point, but they had a heavy personnel, their base defense against our sub. And um, I thought our advantage was the one-on-ones and, and we had opportunities. But you did have time off. We had one, yeah. Yep, we had one. And so, again, I, you can look back on it and second guess it all you want, but at the end of the day, I thought their best chance to get the ball in the end zone was to, to play our one-on-one -on -one game outside with those guys. We had some pick routes. Uh, we had some things available to us that I felt good about.
Um, I mean, yeah, I don't want special teams to be an issue, and I certainly wasn't anticipating uh, any issues. That we've had a lot of them, though. Um, so, yeah, no, there's been no no mandates or anything of, of of that sort. So, look, we just we got to play better uh, on special teams for sure. There's a lot of things that that aren't good enough right now. Same the same thing. Look, we got we have not come anywhere close to playing um, the football that I think we're capable of, and. You know, when you turn the ball over the way we turn it over, uh, four turnovers is, I mean, you're going to get blown out by every team in the league you turn the ball over four times. Um, and then we don't capture any, any of the ball at all, and we just don't complement each other at all. I mean, right now our, our special teams gives up yards, defense doesn't get a stop, uh, we, we don't do anything on offense, we turn it over, so it's just everything needs to be better. And so it, that's all there is to it. you got to look at it and find a way to, to get those things corrected, and until we do, it's going to be hard. Uh, I mean, the, the, they, I mean, we moved the ball pretty well. We just turned it over, you know. We turned the ball over on an interception in plus territory. We fumbled it two more times in, in plus territory. Um, you know, we're just – I wouldn't say anything that they did that, that was outside of what was expected. Um, they do a good job. It's a good defense. Aaron's a good coach. Um, but I thought we did – at spots, moved the ball well enough, and then again it got out of hand and, and we didn't convert on third down on top of it. So sort of the same list of issues. Yeah, I mean that's that's why we're one and six, um, and those aren't. It's not for lack of uh, intention. It's not for lack of coaching it. Um, we just got to do a better job of doing it. You know, that's kind of where we're at, and we'll keep hammering it. We'll keep coaching it, and and we got to find a way at some point to not do it. Uh, that's really what it comes down to. Yeah, I absolutely do. I believe that from the get go, and. Um, we got to stop losing games. We're losing ourselves games. We're not putting ourselves in position to win. <clears throat> we don't play a clean enough brand right now to put us in spots to be in the competitive games. And look, we had some games that we had chances to win. We were in. Um, and so, yeah, there's things that I believe about our roster. I believe in the way our guys play and they work. Uh, but we got to do a better job playing football uh, and a better job coaching it at the end of the day because, um, you know, one and six is, is what we are. And we played some teams that I think are really good, and we haven't performed well against the really good teams um, that we've faced. And, I think we're capable of playing much better than we are, and we got to keep finding a way to get that done. Do you feel like guys feel like their coach and feel like their coach get down when you drop a one? Like a coach of a unit, is it dependent on your performance? Do you agree that the coach has as a result of the win helps with balance in some way? Yeah, I mean, I think we all just start with ourselves first, you know? And if we're not playing well enough, what, what can I do better as a player? Uh, where are we where are we able to make an improvement to do something better than we've done it? Uh, I, trust me, all these guys we're all held accountable. Um, there's nothing that that's not being accounted for, uh, so we have to do a good job of taking that accountability to the field and performing on game day, uh, coaching and playing. Um, yeah, incredibly frustrating. You know, it's uh, again. I I thought we did some good things early in the game. We made it. We Came out hot. We started fast, just like we hoped to, and uh, you know, ultimately, don't have much to show for it. Yeah, that's really frustrating. Yeah, um, you know, unfortunately, it's it's the same story of just uh, giving them giving them some easy ones. Once again, putting our defense on a short field <clears throat> a couple times there in the first first quarter, first half, and uh, you know, I got to protect the ball better, uh, put our defense in a better situation. And, but I think you know there were some there were, there were some good things in the first half that we did. We moved the ball, possessed the ball, um, but none of it matters when you when you when you you get your butt kicked. So uh, all good. <laughs> yeah, the first one um, just trying to check it down and kind of got hit as I as I threw and you know ball just moved on me. And then the second uh, that was a great play by the safety, just robbing the over route. Um, you know, at the time I threw it. Uh, he was still in the, in the position to cover the deep, the deep shot, and, and um, you know he, he cut the crosser well. It was a good play. Do you feel like you might have been a little late on that one? Uh, may, you know, I, 
I really don't think so. I have to get back and, and watch the tape, but um, maybe a hair. But I think, you know, if anything, I'm, I'm waiting a second longer and launching it up to, uh, to Nick Westbrook, who, who, who got behind the safety as he was driving. Yeah, I think just the way that the action of the fake took, I, I, I thought uh, maybe 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 a hitch, maybe a hitch sooner. I'll have to watch it. Yeah, so I think I think I think uh, there's days where, you know, in in practice, you know, I think we're doing a good job individually, offense, defense, special teams, but then we put it all together and. Um, you know, I put the defense on a short field, you know, twice, and then um, you know, there's other issues in other in other parts of the ball, and we're not all clicking together, and, and so, um, you know, just got to keep keep going back to keep going back to work, and, and you know, figuring it out. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, yeah, the, I, you know, the, the first pick I threw, I thought I bounced back well. We, we kept moving the ball, went right back down the field, tied it up 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, then they, they go up 14-7 on either a, either a punt return or a long, or a long, uh, long run. And so, but then, you know, we, I think we tied it again there. And so, yeah, there's, there's, uh, there's, there's some fight. You know, those guys definitely are fighting back and was proud of the way we moved the ball, but not enough. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, you know first play. I I got to give Nick Westbrook a better chance, and I, I put a little too much on it, and it went and it sailed out of bounds. And then, um, you know, I think uh, maybe I take a little bit off of it. You know, maybe it was a little hot for Tyler there as we sprinted left. <clears throat> and then, um, you know, the last play, Calvin got pushed out of bounds, which I thought there might have been, you know, some holding there, but. Uh, that's that was a that was a you know, unfortunate unfortunate series end. How was, how was that type of play? Was that you got a two for one? Did not get points there? What was the feeling in the locker room? Yeah, I mean, to have moved the ball so well down the field, Nick Westbrook makes a big catch there, uh, one on one, and then to not get the you know not to get not not get the seven, and it's uh, yeah, it's deflating, but uh, you still got a lot half to play. You can't you got to put it behind you. Yeah. He said he did some things differently. Did you notice that? If so, I think that has a question. Yeah, I noticed that he came to work every day with a with a great attitude and 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 um, you know catching as many balls as he could, and he was hungry and you could tell that he wanted to, you know, he wanted to bounce back and and we all did and so uh, was happy with yeah I, we were we were clicking man. I, He's uh, he, he can take the top off the defense, and then they start to adjust and play more zone when they're up a couple scores, because they can't play play man, and there's no reason to. But uh, was was happy to see him, you know, move move the chains for us. When you see a guy put in work, maybe more or different or whatever, and that yeah. Goes, so how much can that spread to the rest of the group? I'm not saying they're not doing that. Yeah. But they are. But how much can that be the rest of the group? Yeah, it's a great it's a great lesson for the younger guys, you know, you know. Like, like a rookie like Jaquan who can see that work ethic and see it pay off and and um, you know we, we need more of that and and uh, but uh, you know I've seen guys go the opposite way when they have a bad game they can tank or they can you know act like they don't care and he did the exact opposite he is a first class professional not a lot I think I think uh, you know I think human nature it was, it was a distraction for an hour or two on a Wednesday and, and then you move on it's I've been on teams that are 10 and 0 and you're trading people and so it's it's normal NFL business yeah it only takes it only takes uh you know play here or there to to, to you know we, we play two good two darn good teams on the road man and uh, when you're giving the ball up that's just a you know, even if you, you don't turn it over, those are still hard games to win. So we uh, we shot ourselves in the foot, <clears throat> but uh, there's a lot of football ahead, and, and all it takes is get a, get a W at home and, and, and get some momentum swinging. You said it had been a good weekend that you knew, you know, and it's a rare occasion for a backup to kind of know the whole week that you know what you're going to get. Yeah. 
Yeah. You expect it now goes back to the more hazy regular week of a backup quarterback where you won't know? I'm not sure. I'm 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 uh, gonna watch the tape and see how we can correct and make our our team better, but that's that's out of my hands.